How's it going everybody? After much consideration and going through over 500 comments on things I missed, I remade the best way to start Fallout 4 and I am so excited to bring it to you. Now we are going to be covering the beginning of the game to Diamond City and tons of stuff in between there. Now the first thing you need to do is just come this way, come to this terminal and pop out the Red Menace. Very easy to miss and also when you play it for the first time you get an achievement. Plus, just good to have. Now, I hate to point out the obvious, but all you really need to do in this first part is grab this stuff, you know, a couple things in here, and then in the other room here, there's a lab coat, and in this locker, there's another 24 rounds of 10 millimeter. Now, the next thing, straight out of the vault, is the first location in itself. You do not want to miss these first few things. <sighs> You need it all, guys. You need it all, right at the beginning. Alright, now you just come in here. You know, grab the right away, grab a couple stim packs. And then just come grab a couple of things from these boxes. I might miss that my first playthrough. Of course. Now, from here, we're just going to make our way right to the edge of the map, just behind Sanctuary. And it's just a little stash. Not too much here, but it all matters at the beginning, right? It all matters. Meds, a couple guns, a bit of drugs, ammo, of course. And last but not least, Malone. Planting those crops. Alright, now you come right back to Sanctuary and to the house, your original house. Don't forget there. Grognog the Barbarian. And then go into Sean's room for the skill book. There is also a duplicate glitch for the skill book. If you want to do that, don't pick it up right now. There's tutorials on YouTube for that. I didn't bother including it. And then walk two houses down from your original house. Come right to the roof here. And there's a nice little stash. And this same building has a cellar come on down here bunch of other goodies you can't pick that safe though you need expert lock picking and I do recommend that the first perks you get are always computer hacking and lock picking you can pick expert locks and computers relatively early and then as we're leaving sanctuary don't forget to grab these grenades from the mailbox now we're just gonna quickly dart over here to red rocket a couple things here Nice little stash here. And then, just as we walk up to here, we're gonna grab dog meat. Hey, boy. What are you doing out here all by yourself? You wanna come with me, pal? And as soon as you get dog meat, what we're gonna do is a little glitch to get the cryolator. And it may take you a couple tries to get back in the vault with dog meat, but. I guarantee you this is still doable. I saw people arguing online that this has been patched and I guarantee you this has not been patched. Heads up. Now you just tell him to look for How some items. Doing, See if there's any good stuff nearby, boy. And he's going to run over here. He used to drop it on the ground, but he's going to grab it and then run over to you and it will actually be in his inventory. Live. But save before you do this just in case. Boom. Cry later, right at the beginning. And 200 shots for it. Now, back to Red Rocket. We're just gonna run over here, dart into the cave underneath Red Rocket. And in here, there is a fusion core, a duffel bag, and a safe. I actually missed the duffel bag in this video, but I'm sure you'll find it no problem. Yes. Just a bit of stuff, nothing too crazy. And then right from outside, you just turn around, come up to this water tower. And there's just a little stash of some purified water and a bit of meds. 
doesn't seem that important regularly, but at the beginning, everything helps. And then a nice little chest stash right here. And then from here, we're just going to go down to Abernathy Farm. Don't worry about talking to them or anything. Just pick all the tomatoes. Tomato, tomato. And then we're going to make our way right to the ranger cabin. For a little magazine. Excellent. Permanently take 5% less damage. And then just come to this little creek area. All right. Now you're just going to swim to the very bottom. Another little stash here. And then from here, just come back up to the top and swim to the edge. Flip that switch, run up the hill. And you're gonna get a little cap stash. And this 44 Magnum with a couple bullets. Use them wisely, you don't have many, and that's the strongest pistol you can get up to this point. A couple bobby pins. And then just up top here, some rad away. I need some rad away, rad away. All right, now this part I was roasted so hard for in the comments of the original video because I missed this and I can't believe I missed this and I feel stupid for it, but here it is, Fat Man. Fat Stash. Now this guy, we're gonna get to in a sec. And then you just run right up top here. And you get around for that bad boy. Come on inside. Meds, stim pack. And you get a paint job for the power armor which increases agility and it doesn't cost anything to put on it so you can't go wrong. Now you come to this terminal you eject the hollow tape, and this controls the robot outside. You can either set him to explode for two fusion cores, or you can send him to defend certain places. I sent him to defend the satellite area just right close by. And then from here, you just dart over this way. And if you're luckier than I am, you may get the full set. I got this. I know you can uh, make a save if you're early, farther away and then just reload and you can get different pieces. Just a little bit of a stash here, an ammo box. And then we're just going to make our way with our buddy here that we just grown. And once you come into the satellite array, just make your way down. I was only able to withstand this because I just grabbed the power armor and finish everybody off. Have a bit of fun. Massacre. And then you come to the basement and you will find in that little toolbox the key for the room near the entrance. Come in here and there's tons of stuff. There's a chest, stash, duffel bags, and this book. Permanently more difficult to detect sneaking. And this is what we already got. Not too bad. All right, and we're just gonna make our way down here. Another little stash. Yes. That's it. And then we're going to come this way. Where we get a stim pack and a unique face Big tattoo. Man. All right, now we're just going to be coming back to Red Rocket, and I just wanted to give you an example of something, all right? So 
you're gonna go to the workbench, delete everything except these workbenches. I didn't say this in my original video and that was my biggest regret. Never, never, never delete workbenches, guys, or anything that's outlined in white that can be stored and used later on. There's no point in deleting it. So this is just an example of the stuff at Red Rocket not to delete and then delete everything else and bring it to Sanctuary. Once you come to Sanctuary, I do recommend that you delete all this stuff very early on in the game just so you that you have materials for making guns. And like I said, guys, delete anything outlined in yellow. It's useless, but save everything outlined in white because Sanctuary has the most furniture that can be stored in the whole game. And this is all the stuff that you can store from Sanctuary. I lined it all up so I could give you an example. Alright, why waste it? And then I brought all of the workbenches to this one area so that they're all in the same place. I know the chemistry and the cooking station are kind of tucked away, hidden. That's the power armor with the paint we just grabbed. And now I'm just going to quickly, quickly show you how to build just kind of a mini base for the settlers of Sanctuary. You know, you may not be into settlement building like I was, but I definitely, definitely recommend that you always, always build just one base, guys. Just one base. Just to have a place to keep your stuff. And if you don't care about settlement building, then it may as well be in Sanctuary because Preston and all those people, you know... It's a quest, so you may as well get it done here. Super simple, like once you delete the stuff from Red Rocket and Sanctuary, then you're set. See, just super simple. I like to have guard towers. And then the second floor is always just beds for the settlers. Couple turrets. You gotta. And then I bring all of the workbenches that I find in Sanctuary, always, you know, put them in the same building. Give the settlers a decent place to live. Gotta make it a little homey, right? I do recommend that you have all the DLCs. I mean, I just love it. All the stuff that you can use and to build with from the DLCs. Gotta have those portraits up. Nice comfy couches, 200 years later. I sped through this mostly because I didn't think anybody would want an exact build guide and, you know, for time purposes. I just wanted to give you guys an example of something super simple. The settlers' basic require needs are just water, power, defense, and beds for their happiness. And you just need to run a bit of power, hook up some water generators, and for the wireless energy, you just need to run conduits near the light bulbs. These guys right here. And then just move them over and everything should light up. Now we're just going to be planting the tomatoes that we grabbed from Abernathy Farm. And this way once you get Preston and the settlers here, they're totally settled in and you don't have to do anything. Now this is the little base we got going. It's not much, it's nothing special, but it's something. All right. Now, for the console peasants like me who want to keep building but the settlement bar gets maxed out, I just wanted to show you guys that the only way to bring that settlement bar down so you can keep building is by dropping weapons and storing them by pressing B or pressing O. And that will very slowly bring that settlement bar down. Very useful tip that I did not know at the beginning of the game. And now we're going to make our way to the Museum of Freedom. We're going to grab Preston and the gang. Alright, now you're going to make your way upstairs after dealing with all those raiders. Man, I don't know who you are. And just come in here, grab this bad yes. boy, permanently increase perception by one. Preston Garvey. Come over here, grab this. Yes. And you get uh, another game to play on your Pip-Boy, Atomic Command. 
And once you do that and grab the power armor and hop down, slaughter everyone in sight, have a bit of fun. And now you can take care of this guy with no problem with the goodies we found so far. And then as soon as you do that, make sure to come right down here. And we're just gonna grab one little stash bag here. And then make your way all the way down. And then there's some meds up top here. And then just come into this room right here on the left. Another little stash, food, junk. You know how it is. Another face tattoo. Nice. I'd be glad. All right, now you come back, fantastic. talk to Preston after you sent him and all the guys here. By the way, if you want to help out around here at all, talk to Sturgis. I'm sure he'd be glad for all. And then you just talk to Sturgis, and you've already completed work? everything he was going to ask you to I'd do if to you help. built something just like I just showed you, you. I was glad to help. Well, I appreciate it. Easy experience. Alright, now we're just going to come down this way. To the cabin. Make your way all the way down, and we got another magazine. Hell yeah. And just to the right of the computer, we got a bottle cap mine. Which is the strongest kind of mines. Alright, now when you just come to this diner, there's a good and an evil side to this. You can either help those drug dealers, and then they become permanent chem dealers here, or you can help her and her son, and she becomes a general goods trader. Me, I like the general goods more than I like the drug dealers, so... Gotta do what you gotta do. Can't wait to see the crows feeding on that scumbag. Here, this is for you. Now, if you ever need to trade, my shop's open. All right, now we're just gonna make our way to Starlight Drive-In, which is literally a one second walk. And I only say this because it's really close and between all these cars and the fence all around, it's a great place to get lots of metal. Yes. Now you just pick this lock, click this workbench. You got the whole place unlocked. Simple as that. Got it. And around the back of the projector screen, bit of food, more importantly, another fusion core. And once it's naked and empty, you should have quite a bit of supplies. I'm just going to show you here. And when you set up settlement supply lines, which you need local leader for, the settlements all share one giant inventory. So you don't have to cart it all back to one place. All right. Now we're just going to run up here. Grab another little stash. Come to the landfill. There's a settler who needs your help. You can help him. Take out a bunch of mole rats. Grab another fat stash. And then make your way down to the Mystic Pines. Grab some medicine. You make your way down here. Nice. Get another fusion core. Can't go wrong with those fusion cores. And then just run over here for one last magazine. Nice. And permanently, prices are better in stores. And now we're just going to run down here. This is actually leapfrogging a settlement quest. You just come up this way. There's going to be quite a few guys here, so just be ready. Make your way to the very top where you grab the repair bottle head. Go. Fusion cores last 10% longer. All right, now you come inside through the front door. Make your way up here, kill the leader.
You can take his key for a safe that's directly under where we're standing now. Grab that stash, and... There we go. Another Grognog magazine. Alright, now from Mystic Pines, just creep along this road here to the police station. Come in here, pick this. Another fat stash. Another fat man. Bunch of ammo. Another mini nuke. Cigarettes. Darts for the road. Drugs. More darts. Locks really strong. I didn't have expert yet, but you get the picture. And then just run on down. Pick this lock. Yes. You can actually hack that Hell safe yeah. with the computer too, and ballistic weapons permanently do 5% more damage. And then from here, just cross the lake to the fisheries, and I'll warn you right now, there's a lot of Mirelurks in here, so just be very careful. Come on to the boat. Excellent. And we have another unique face tattoo. Now, I just want to touch on Bunker Hill. Because it is the Canterbury Commons of Fallout 4. This is where all the roaming traders home of operations is. As well as you can help the leader of this place and actually unlock it as a settlement a little down the line. Now, from here... I didn't actually show it, but go to the USS Constitution, grab a quest, and then come down to the Old Church. Old North Church, sorry. And this is just how we skip a bunch of BS and another leapfrog quest. We're just activating the railroad faction. Make your way to the basement. Spell out railroad. R-A-I-L R-O-O-D. Railroad. Just kidding. R-O-A-D. That's how we say it in Canada. Railroad. What are you talking about? There we go. And now you come in here and everybody is surprised. Stop right there. Who the hell are you? I was just exploring. And you just happened to guess the password to the secret door. Right. Well, he's got to be someone. He made it down here, right? Normal people just don't do that. So you got nothing. He's a complete unknown. And that's how you get the railroad started. All right, now I'm going to be showing you a very safe way, combat free, to get to Good Neighbor. Because downtown is pretty damn dangerous and Good Neighbor is one of the best places in the game to trade. As well as I just wanted to point out to you the Cabot House for a quest later on, one of my favorite quests in the game. Just come down this way, this is the mass fusion building right in front of us. And then just come on in this way and boom. I told you, you can't walk around good. Each of these stores have unique legendary uh, items. Most pl most vendors do. And you want to come back to the Hotel Ruxford. Are you going to hang out in the lobby all day again, or are you actually going to go down and do some work? Excellent. Get 5% more XP with followers. <laughs> and then come all the way up to meet an old friend. What? No. It can't. It, 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 it's you. From Sanctuary Hills, right? I wasn't on the list to get in. Hey, you know, you could head back to Sanctuary. I'll come visit. I promise. When you send him to Sanctuary and put him at a general goods um, shop, okay. he becomes a unique head over trainer. There right now. And then this is just another little leapfrog quest. You can come into the memory den, save, because you need to win a little speech challenge. I think you've stepped into the wrong place, sweetheart. You don't look like you need the memory den. You're cautious. I respect that. But I think I can handle it, if you'll just give me a chance. Well, I suppose there's no harm in giving you a trial run. 
Dr. Amari, we have a and then you come in here, and I will not spoil the surprise. And then, you don't want to miss the third rail. One of my favorite locations in the game. I see you looking round the corner. Come on inside and pull up a chair. This is where you get McCready. No need to feel God, from Fallout 3, that little Good kid. Can't say I'm surprised to find you in a dump like this, man. Look, pal, if you're preaching about the atom or looking for a friend, you've got the wrong guy. If you need a hired gun, then maybe we can talk. Get your buddy. All right, now you exit Good Neighbor, and I'm going to be showing you another little quest leapfrog. You just come right down this way, and we're just quickly going to be saving Valentine. <laughs> All right, you make your way down here, kill all the goons, come into this vault. And that's where you're going to find this guy. Kill the guy who's talking to him through the glass, take his little key. And then come in and see Valentine. And don't forget to grab this guy, Speech Bobblehead. my knight in shining armor the question is why does he come all this way risk life and limb an old private eye all right and before you leave this vault don't forget to grab this bad boy five more action points easily missed thanks for getting me out how did you know where to find me anyway not many people knew where i went honestly i was just there at the right time seemed like you needed help i appreciate it I want you to come to my office in Diamond City. Give me all the details. I'll meet you there. See you in Diamond City. Okay. Now from here, we're just going to make our way down to the combat zone. Another super cool, unique and location. That concludes this round. Fate is the undisputed winner. Everybody's going to turn on you, slaughter them all, and then once you do that, come to the very top of the theater, grab that, jump down, and then we're going to be grabbing another magazine of Picket Fence. Nice. And then just come over here and grab Ready. Kate, and if you didn't already know, place. Kate is Let's the go. baddest bitch in the wastelands if you want to be evil. She is the girl to travel with. Alright, now I'm just going to quickly cover Trinity Tower. You don't have to do this, but honestly, it's not that hard. You make your way to the very top, kill all those super mutants. It's the second tallest building in the game. Get a good view. Grab the key from this chest. Unlock this. He knows the best way down. Strong is the super mutant follower. One of my favorite. For all the super mutant armor you find in the wasteland, it's to put on him. Bingo. And then you grab this bad boy. Rex. <clears throat> then once you come down to the very Many bottom, thanks. you complete the quest, and then you can talk to Strong and get him as a follower. Strong travel with human. Goodbye, MacReady. Goodbye, McCready. All right, now we're just going to come to the Boston Public Library real quick. That's the tower we were just at, just down the street. And then you come on in here, disarm this little grenade trap, grab the grenades from there. If you have an overdue book, you can get a magazine right there at that reddish terminal. Now be real careful because at the beginning of the game, these guys are a little harder than they may seem. I must have died five times trying to do this. Alright, now once you kill these guys, just come around this pile of junk. There's going to be a key, some bobby pins, grab those. Which will help you unlock this master lock. Another bottle cap mine, another fat stash, stealth boy. Some food. But more importantly than all this stuff, 
Another bobblehead. Nice. Permanently increased intelligence by one. Alright, now from here we're just going to make our way up to this boat. There's another fat stash and a bunch of raiders on the other end of that boat there. But we are just going to be grabbing this. Perfect. Heals 50% more from fruits and vegetables. Alright, now from there we're just going to come up here real quick. It's not too many super mutants in here. Very doable. Go a little stash for you. And of course, another magazine. Nice. Ballistic weapons permanently do 5% more critical. And then you just come right up to the Cambridge University to activate the Brotherhood faction. Appreciate the assistance, civilian. Kill the ghouls and then help Paladin I'm just dance. Trying to survive out here. Are you from a local settlement? I'm from Vault 111. You're a vault dweller? If you want to continue pitching in, we could use an extra. And then you can side. do the quest with him help. and but get the Pridwin to fly into first. the Commonwealth. I've been trying to send a distress call to my superiors. Our target is Arcjet Systems, and it contains the technology we need. So what do you say? You willing to lend the Brotherhood of Steel a hand? No time to waste. Let's get moving. Outstanding. All right. Now we're just moving on to this plant. The brewery. Now real quick, you can just run this way. A couple guys to kill, nothing too crazy. And another picket fence. Nice. And then we're just gonna cross the river, come to this bad boy, to this treatment plant. There is a bunch of stuff you can do in here, but I'm just showing you another magazine. You can activate a series of pumps and get lower and lower in the building, but excellent. we're just here for this. Alright, and now we're coming to Vault 81, another main trading hub. As well as a good quest. Alright, now you can either get in here by a speech win or trading three fusion cores. Now once you get in here, there's some traders. This is the only place you can buy nuclear material in shipments. As well as come down here, grab this. Got another tattoo. Welcome, welcome. And then come and find this doctor. I hope I'm not being presumptuous, but I'd like to ask you a favor. Would you mind donating some medical samples? Give him a sample Even of your blood. blood sure, you can have some blood. Excellent. Just have a seat. All right, now you do this, and once you do this, just leave there. the vault, Harder fast travel bit. somewhere, come Thank right you. back. This will be a great help. Now, I need to get. And then you activate here. this quest. You have to do something, Jacob. I'm running the test as fast as I can, Priscilla. I can't treat Austin until I know what he's infected with. You there. How would you like to do Vault 81 a favor and possibly save my boy's life? I would be glad to help. I was hoping I could count on you. Follow me. Alright, hole in the wall. A very cool and unique quest. Where you come get Kiri, another follower. Yes, yes I am. Please, tell me you are authorized to release me from the lab. Uh, I am so authorized. You are released. Superb. I had almost given up all hope of leaving here. I'll open the door for you. Alright, and she's developed this cure for this sickness that the kid named Since Austin had contracted by being bit by a rat. I... Oh. Grab this bobblehead, go give the cure to the kid, or don't, and you complete the quest. Now from Vault 81, we're just going to run down to this place, the hardware store. Hardware town. up here fat stash this key leads to a room on the left another fat stash and another thing of picket fence all right now we're just gonna come down
Run across here, jump here, get around the building, la la la. Alright, and this is how you get in. Once you get in, make your way down through the tunnels. Another fusion core. And then you come in here and another face nice. tattoo. Alright. Now we're going to be coming to Diamond City. Now, once you get here, Piper will meet you at the gates. Talk to her. Make your way inside. We'll get to her in a second. Come around to the school. Another magazine. Robot followers do 5% more damage. And then come over here to Valentine's Detective Agency. Nick? Your buddy who you just saved. Oh god, it's really you. <laughs> well, it's hard to mistake this mug for anyone else. <laughs> you keep laughing at death. Someday death's gonna laugh back. Not and don't forget to grab it. this bad boy for another holotape game, Zeta Invaders. And then for the face tattoos that we've grabbed this far, you just come to the doctor's office, come in the basement to the surgeon, and these are them. I like these two personally. And then just come in here, talk to Piper. She's going to ask you about the vault, tell her the story of the century. Yeah. And then she becomes well, your follower. You're a vault dweller. A jumpsuit's a dead giveaway. And that pretty much sums it up for this one. I hope you guys liked it. I <laughs> I tried to get every single thing that everybody said that I had missed in my original video and as well as add lots more. So Tell me what you liked, tell me what you didn't like, tell me what I may or may not have missed. There's the general store with the vault Tech rep. The settlers are all happy. Painted power armor, life is good. And here is all the magazines and bobbleheads that we collected. I'm excited to bring you guys more content, and I will be seeing you in the next one.